Catholics would give historical citation that the assembly of believers built by Jesus in Matthew 16, 18 was them. Other denominational groups begged to differ. Nonetheless, both of them taught that the church built by Jesus, particularly in that verse, was a group of believers, or is it? What if I told you that the church built by Jesus in that verse was not referring to an assembly of believers? Intrigued? Let me elaborate. First, consider this. Church by literal meaning refers to an assembly of believers. But notice that in Matthew 16, 18, the church he was referring to was in the future since he said, I will build my church. But wait, did he not already have an assembly of believers at that point? Did he already gather his disciples? In fact, he was with his assembly of disciples in that particular verse. If so, then it would be inexplicable why he would still build an assembly of believers in the future when he already built one gathered by himself. It becomes redundant, unless the church he was referring to was not an assembly of believers. If this is the case, then what is it? Is there any other church mentioned in the Bible? Well, yes, Ephesians 5.23 and Colossians 1.24 mention that his very body is also the church. Now, I'm aware that symbolically the body of Christ is referring to an assembly of believers. But as I said earlier, the church Jesus would build in the future cannot be referring to an assembly of believers because it becomes redundant since he already builds one. Therefore, we cannot refer the church mentioned in that verse to the symbolical body of Christ because it will equate to an assembly of believers. So what then is that church? Could it be that Jesus was referring to his actual real body as the church? My answer is yes, because according to 1 Corinthians 15 46, it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural and then the spiritual. Therefore, applying this to the body of Christ, which is the church, before his body symbolically means an assembly of believers, it first refers to his actual or real body. Here, the church Jesus was referring to in Matthew 16, 18 was his actual body. Do take note that the verse was written in symbols, thus the terms such as build, church, rock, and gates of Hades should not be taken literally. The build in that verse, according to concordance, one usage is edification, which is an elevation of the church, which was his body. This is also referred to as his ascension. Church, as explained, was not referring to the assembly of believers, but rather to his body. This is what he will ascend to heaven. Rock refers to the foundation, a strong basis for building a structure. And in building a structure, there are typically three foundations on how the structure came to be. First is the architect, the one who plans the structure. The second is the engineer, the one who executes the plan to make it into reality. The third is the place. One must have a place where the structure will be built. In that particular verse, and I'm not saying that Jesus and Peter were not rock, they were both rock in their own right, but the rock in this particular verse was not referring to either of them, but rather to the place where they were, at which was Caesarea Philippi. During that time, that place was a sinful place that a good Jew was forbidden to go there. Yet despite this, Jesus and his assembly of disciples went there as mentioned in Matthew 16, 13. Here Jesus purposely bring his disciple there to make a point, but what point is it? Simply this, Jesus reveals to Peter and to his disciples that his body, which is the church, against all odds in such a place like that, a sinful one, his body will ascend to heaven and no one can prevent it from happening, even death itself, which is what gates of Haiti mean. So in summary, in Matthew 16, 18, the church Jesus was referring to was not an assembly of believers, but his body. And the message of that verse was, Jesus reveals to Peter that his body, church, will ascend, build, to heaven, in such a sinful place, rock. But despite this, not even death, gates of Hades, can prevent it. This was the real meaning of that verse. What do you think? Do you object? If so, can you objectively debunk my position?